Hey folks, hope you guys are doing well. All right, it is time to start on another collaboration. Uh, this one is for a really special person. We met uh, when we were in, in February when we were in Atlanta. For the first time, I met uh, Stevie with Built by Stevie. And uh, I was just so impressed with this gal. I just knew I had to do something for her. She is just a dynamite. If you guys don't know who she is, you got to go check her out on Instagram, Built by Stevie. She is a superstar. Anyway, I'm honored to actually collaborate with her. This is uh, her logo. And I am going to do her up a, a sign. I've got some... Um, some really special thing that I want to do on this one that uh, I've never done before, which is kind of cool. I always love doing brand new stuff. So um, thank you, Stevie. I hope you like what I do, and uh, we'll come right back. Oh, by the way, the reason we're going to come right back is because I'm filming this by myself. Vicky's out of town. She's over in California, and probably will be over there maybe another week. I don't know. So... You, I hope you guys can bear with me. Some of this, or all of this video is probably going to be done by myself uh, with a camera over there. So I'm going to have to kind of coordinate. And uh, But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do a lot of zoom in stuff with me behind the camera. So the, the scenes will be a little bit kind of more scenes because there'll be some stuff that I want to zoom in on that I'm going to have to be on the other side of the camera to do it. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys bear with me. I'm going to give you the best I got. So hang with me. We'll be right back. All right, let's get started on this thing. So what I've decided to do on Stevie's sign is I'm going, um, going to go back and use a piece of this Live Edge white poplar. Um, I just I absolutely am in love with this stuff. I love the way the Live Edge looks, um, and this stuff just looks amazing with a finish on it. I'm trying to kind of hold it up there. Sorry about the weird angles. Anyway, I just love the way this stuff looks, so that's what I've decided to use on Stevie's sign. Uh, this piece is, uh, what, about 18? Uh, it's about 14 and a half inches left to right, and about I think it's about 18 tall. Um, so what I've got to do, I'm going to come back on the next scene, and I'll be zoomed in on the board. But a couple of these knots, um, they don't, they're not loose, but they have a little gaps in them. So I definitely need to fill them. So I'm going to come right back, and we're going to take care of that first. Then we can start the layout. Be right back. Okay, so. We've got little spots in here around this knot. Again, they're both solid, but I definitely want to fill those because I don't want those. Um, number one, if I tend, if I put resin on this, which I haven't decided whether I'm going to do that yet or not, I definitely don't want those to be pockets of uh, where air can come out. So I'm using the Starbond Thick. And then uh, with this comes these little, I've used, I've showed these before, come these little uh, really tiny nozzles. So I'm going to um, put some of that Starbond Thick down in there. I really, really like this stuff. So you could fill this stuff. You could use resin and do a fill with resin, but... On tiny spots like this, um, I like the Starbond, the CA glue, and I think it uh, I think it works really really well. So then I use the accelerator and just spray it on there, and it dries almost instantly. So I'll do the same thing over here, and these little tiny needle. I don't know what they call them, but these, I call them kind of needlepoint spouts, work really, really well. I've actually got a little bit of a gap here in the, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's barely on camera frame, I guess. I just don't want anything that could, that could have bubbles come up or, um, if when I do spray it black, if somehow any black got happened to get over there, I don't want any black. It looks like actually right up here, there's a little bit of a gap going on there too. So this stuff in a matter of seconds 
literally I could start sanding it sanding this right now that's already dry that's already dry that's already dry I think I got just about everything Ooh, there's actually a there's actually like a divot going on right there I think I'm gonna go ahead and fill that too anyway guys I'm gonna let this dry you can kind of see what I'm doing now anyway but this Starbond stuff if you guys haven't used it man it's awesome I love it I use it all the time anyway we'll be right back and uh, we'll get this thing sanded off and we'll get into the layout folks so I've got this thing all sanded down to 220 it's nice and smooth I want a real good uh, nice smooth finish on here because I'm going to be doing a little bit of a transfer but before I do that I've got a shape here this is kind of uh, my idea she has sometimes uh, Stevie has her logo uh, without this hexagon but sometimes it's with a hexagon and I've got an idea that I want to try with this hexagon so I just cut myself out a, a hexagon it's a little over it's about an eighth of an inch uh, web here and I want to be able to carve that shape on there so I just cut it out with my laser but you could do easily do the same thing with a piece of cardboard and a and a, a razor knife anyway so I'm gonna center this thing left to right make sure it's pretty much squared up to the edges looks pretty close that's pretty close and then I'm gonna eyeball it just top to bottom which is a little tricky I like to have solid measurements to go off of but when you got edges like this going on that makes that a little bit tough so what I'm gonna do here I've got the board kind of jacked up sitting on a box I'm just gonna clamp it down on a couple sides so then I can uh, normally I would spray this on but because I want to do a, a transfer in here I really don't want to spray it with ink yet so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna draw this shape on and hopefully just using a ballpoint pen hopefully uh, especially against this white board hopefully this will give me a good line to go by again I'm gonna freehand the whole thing anyway so um, as long as I've got a, a decent line to go by I think I'll be able to figure it out I'm not being really too careful on this as long as I've got a line that should be other than where the clamps were so I'll just make the adjustment for that that should be a pretty good line there eh, I missed it a little bit there but I'll use a straight edge and straight edge and uh, fix that anyway so we'll come back and we'll do that transfer and uh, get the layout done we can get into the carving okay so we're back so what I've done here guys is I've just taken a copy I reduced it to the size I need it and I've taken a copy reversed it just did it actually in my yeah in my printer um, and reversed it and then what I did was because I knew it was the right size what I did was I set it on here and made all my kind of my registration lines so I know these lines here those are uh, my letters left to right basically or they're they're pretty close and then these lines here are my baseline for the the word built I'm not even worried about this because it's all registered together so what I've done is basically about two inches from the top from here 
and then two inches from the bottom, from this part to the bottom of the lettering. And that feels like that should be just about right. So then I took this and I made my copy on freezer paper, inkjet printer of course. I covered it with, uh, with silicone spray too, first actually as well. Oh man, not having Vicky here is a pain. Anyway, I miss you, babe. Anyway, um, so what, what I'm gonna do now is, like I've showed before, I just used a pen and I darkened, I just made two real heavy lines there and I just pressed on it really hard so that I can see that from the other side. I'm hoping you guys can see that. What my plan is to lay that down. So I've got my line here my line here that I can see. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm hoping you can. And I'm gonna lay it in place. And I think that should be about right. Now what my hope is, is I can tape it down. Tape it in place, in a couple different places actually. Now, if you guys want to see this process, I've done this many times. This is my favorite transfer process. But if you guys want to see it um, on other videos, go check out uh, video number 310, uh, video number 359, and video number 305. And then, of course, I have a uh, on the channel, I have a whole um, transfer playlist. So it's a whole playlist of nothing but just transferring. All different kinds of ways to do it. You can use a laser jet printer and some, uh, some kind of a process like a lacquer thinner. I've used lacquer thinner, acetone. Uh, this is still my favorite. And I know a lot of people would rather use carbon paper. I've used that. I've carved through paper. Um, the reason I don't necessarily prefer uh, those, number one, the carbon paper, uh, it's really easy to get offline with a carbon paper when you're trying to do that tracing, beside the fact that it's super time consuming. Um, as far as using a laser printer and a, a medium, uh, like a lacquer thinner and stuff, um, that actually works really well. That would be my next... Uh, my next favorite process before this or after this. Um, carving through paper, I've certainly done it many, many times and you'll see that in the playlist. It's just not my favorite. I don't like paper getting in the way of the router base plate and then I, I can tape it down and it works all right, but this is definitely by far my favorite transfer process. So let's I'm going to take those two loose in case I need to hit that again. Yeah, I'm good with that. That actually came out pretty well. So there's my transfer. Oops. I'm uh, really happy with that. I don't think I'm going to have any problem with following those lines at all. So that is that. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. Oh, by the way, in case you need to know, I just copied this uh, again, just on freezer paper. You can see that on uh, a lot of different of, of, uh, of my uh, videos, but I copied this just a few minutes ago, probably 15 minutes ago. So I know a lot of people say, well, uh, I'm trying to wait for it to dry and it doesn't dry and that's defeating the purpose. You don't want it to dry. If it dries, then you've got less of a chance of a good transfer. So you want it to be wet. You just have to be careful because if you touch it, it, it'll come right off on your finger. It'll smear on you. This now, most of it is on the board. Anyway, guys, so that is it for the transfer. We're going to come back and start the carving. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to fire the router up and get these letters carved. Not a lot of carving on this part right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do these tiny letters and this logo here. 
uh, first because that's I think going to be the most difficult part. That's pretty pretty small stuff. I think those letters are what a little over a half inch. Oh, no, they're right around a half inch tall. These little letters, and being a kind of a straight Helvetica style, that puts a little challenge to it. But anyway, I think I'm going to get those and this done first. So I'm just going to fire up the router and uh, get this thing going right now. See how this works. Again, I'm filming by myself, so I hope I hope this uh, comes out good. Ah. Oh, and I've got the SC50 bit in. That's the one I'm using here. Boy, that was some tiny lines down here, guys. That's uh, 
boy, there's just like no room for er for error there at all. Um, but I'm pretty happy the line I was able to hold there. I don't see too many little bobbles. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to the profile bit because I can now in the pro with the profile bit I can get in here and uh, and take care of this stuff and then I can carve these big letters with the profile bit. So we'll be right back. Hey guys. Well, you know what? I didn't realize how long I was going. That last uh, that last scene, starting the carving on this, went for longer than I thought it was going to. So I think what I'm going to do is carry this over to the next video. I think on the next video we'll be able to get everything wrapped up and get this sign completed and done in one more video, which actually for me two videos uh, on a sign like this actually is pretty good. So um, anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. If you have any questions, please email me directly, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Uh, praise Lord and the creek don't rise. Uh, Vicki will be here for the next video. I'm hoping you guys will see this on Wednesday. Um, and like I said uh, a Friday ago, that every Monday for the month of April, we're going to do large sign carvers of the day. I really want to get caught up on those, and you guys seem to like those. So on Monday, next Monday, you'll see a large sign carvers of the day. You may... Uh, you may get to see this on Friday's video. I don't know. We'll see on this coming Friday's video. I might finish this up by then and then film the video of it the following Wednesday, uh, which is a week from now for you guys. Anyway, there's just trying to do all this without Vicky here. Oh my gosh, do I miss her. Anyway, for on many levels. So guys, uh, thank you for your patience. I hope the video turns out well, that, it, that you guys can see what I'm doing. And I did the best I could. So anyway, love you all. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And when you do subscribe, don't forget to click that little bell icon. That way you get notified when we post a new video three times a week. So the next video will be Friday. We'll be doing a live and uh, Vicky will be here. Every, if everything goes right. Vicky will be here, so Dad and I will just be able to goof off and do our normal stuff. Anyway, I do have something in individual plan for Friday that I hope you guys tune in for. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.